What's up everyone? Thanks for watching and welcome to this episode of Drawer of the Week. For this episode on my crowdfunding platform Patreon, you could vote on what the next subject of Drawer of the Week was going to be. And all of you voted unsurprisingly for iridescent butterflies. So I'm going to honor your request and show you the most impressive selection of iridescent butterfly species today. But before I get into it, let me explain what iridescence is. Iridescence are the uh, structural colorations on the wings of butterflies that are achieved not by pigments, but solely by the structure of the wings themselves. As you know, the scales of butterflies and moths are covered with millions of tiny little scales. And some of these scales have ribs on their sides, called the flagelle. And these flagellae can have the exact same length of the wavelength of a certain light uh, frequency, or I should say a light wavelength, that um, they reflect. So what these wings actually do is um, they reflect light of a certain wavelength while absorbing all the light of the undesired wavelength and the result of this is that only the uh, light of the color that they want to be is reflected back and basically this comes down to nanotechnology i should make a more elaborate video where i show you the mechanism behind this but for this video i just want to show you the result of this it's really crazy beautiful so here we have a morpho butterfly species, it's an old specimen. I have to be careful, but uh, here we see the result of its iridescence on the wings. And it's light refraction, basically. I have to be careful because these are old crappy specimens. Here we have a nice Doxocopa. This is an Archeo Pepona. And basically the butterflies themselves don't have to invest in any sort of pigments. Just the structure of the wing alone determines their color. And the iridescent colors on the wings of these butterflies are achieved the same way that you would see a rainbow in a, in a CD that you would insert in your computer or uh, the colors in a soap bubble or even a rainbow is basically only light being refracted by the scales and the nanostructures on the wings which perfectly uh, correspond to uh, the size uh, in nanometers to the wavelength of the light that they want to reflect back this is a display of morpho specimens uh, now you may have noticed that I so far have mainly shown blue butterflies which are the greatest example of cool iridescent species, but it can come in all colors, to green, to purple, to even orange. And um, this mechanism helps butterflies uh, scare away predators because it, it can use, be used as a flash coloration, but uh, it also plays a role in sexual selection because the eyes of these butterflies are very sensitive to the same wavelength of light that they refract and thus this allows them to uh, find a partner. In some cases the light is even polarized as the scales reflected and the eyes of butterflies can see the difference between normal and polarized light.